Roma chat today. So good to have you with us. And I want to just acknowledge um, it's been a, an amazing time to just um, feel the energy that's coming through this planet at this time. We had um, a week ago, Monday, we had the um, planetary conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, which uh, you've heard plenty about online. In addition, um, there's just an enormous amount of just, it, it almost feels like we're in a, a washing machine. And in some ways we are in a washing machine. We are um, really being invited to change our thoughts, to change our ways, to change our life in many ways, however that works for you. And uh, one of the things that we want to talk about today is aromatherapy, specifically essential oils and how they play a role in that for us. I know for myself, and I can share this, that I have um, gone through enormous changes in my life, um, from being a corporate executive um, for a um, multiple million dollar company, running that and running all over the country, to suddenly realizing that my, you know, my, my uh, own well-being was at stake as I discovered I had breast cancer and this goes back probably um, 28 years ago now and uh, so I'm happy to say that in my journey um, it was a stop change start and I stopped what I was doing I went into healing and in the healing I incorporated the essential oils in my in my whole protocol, which included not only the essential oils, but it also included allopathic. So um, this is this is a vision that I see for our future as we move forward, that our allopathic medicine actually opens up to incorporate all of the different modalities that have been with us forever, and aromatherapy certainly is one of them, which is part of herbalism which is part of the whole plant kingdom, which has brought us um, through the many ages and helped us in so many ways. Uh, and we want to address that in a bit, uh, but I just want to continue on that vision, knowing that it's all about energy. So in my work, in my practice, I've not only been working with the essential oils um, physically, but I work with them energetically. And it's very interesting because I was, and I'll share some of this in a moment, um, with our National um, Association of Holistic Aromatherapists, uh, of which I'm a member and been a member for uh, 20 plus years. The concept of claiming that the essential oils have some scientific basis, which they do, um, at, since the time of Valnay um, in, in World War II, Prior to that gap to say in World War I, um, these doctors used the essential oils um, when they needed to, and it, it helped in many, many ways. Were there blind studies done and massive amounts of people? No, uh, it's what's called anecdotal. And yet, in today's world where we live, um, it's, it's been said, you know, unless you've got the real thing, you're not, you can't claim, and you've got all the studies, and you've got all this scientific, you can't claim that there's any benefit. And I really want to um, share with you my feelings about this, because when I went through um, my healing work, it wasn't just with aromatherapy, it was with the allopathic. But I'll tell you, what the aromatics did for me was help me with my emotional body. And this is what so. So um, I want to just quote from this book. This is um, it's Essays on Holistic Aromatherapy with Dr. Um, Malt Hosel, who's the head of, of uh, Oshadi, which is a beautiful, beautiful line that was started about 20 years ago. And he talks about this timing is really a crisis for uh, evolution in health, mind, and essential oils. And he, he really points that the reason for disease lies in the host, not in the germ. 
And I've been listening to Dr. Robert Young out of Arizona, who talks about the same concept that we've already proven it. And Pasteur actually said this on his deathbed that he was wrong. It's not germs that cause a disease. It's actually the environment in which we, we live. So that being said, we can talk to any uh, mental health counselors who know that when our our emotions and our mind is depressed, when we're feeling depressed and out of sorts, it actually affects our environment, that being an environment of our body. And it can actually literally be tested that our immune system is not as strong. So I think the um, statistics that are showing up in this day and age that if we're wearing a device over our face that um, is inhibiting our breathing, we're actually seeing in those states that have required that, that the um, level of infection actually is almost twice as high as those areas that don't require any covering over this area. That being said, the statistics, and this is over, you know, what do we have, 19 million now that have been, quote, tested, and, um, and it's just showing that there's an effect when there's fear, when there's depression, when there's stress, it affects our immune system. So from the very beginning, I've said, use, use, cleanse and purify. Cleanse and purify your hands. This is a beautiful, you know, way in which you can actually protect yourself. This, not only does it, we know um, from all the studies that the essential oils have a very strong tendency in some more than others and we discuss this in depth in my classes which will be starting in January we look at that they they actually will kill viruses and bacteria and, and fungus and what have you and they'll do it in various ways but the other thing that's very important when I smell this I inhale our cleanse and purify which is which is a combination of wata which is a structured water and a little bit of alcohol to help the essential oils go through that water. We also incorporate things like kajaput, nioli. These are very good respiratory um, enhancers. Um, they help to open up the respiratory. Palmarosa is a very good antibacterial essential oil. Um, we also have um, tea tree, which we know is antifungal. Rain and Sara, a beautiful um, melaleuca product thyme, which is very antibacterial, and eucalyptus radiata, all to help with respiratory. And S-A-R-A-S stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. That being said, these oils that we've put into the structured water actually can help keep one safe. And, um, and I say that, why? Because we're actually adding to the environment of the body. So the body has this magnificent immune system. And, you know, we, we do things like we make a beautiful hand wash. It's a foaming hand wash that is really wonderful to use uh, on a daily basis. Personal hygiene is great. We have a, an immune builder, which actually helps to protect that where we breathe through our nose, it actually will kill viruses and bacteria on their way in and we also have a breath inhaler why do i tell you all these things it's because for me when i was going through my healing crisis the essential oils weren't the healers i'm the healer but being responsible for my environment for me taking care of myself me taking care of my environment so we also have a combination that we call seven thieves because this product is great for the diffuser because we put it in the air and it really helps to cleanse the air we know that there's a lot of airborne pathogens that occur but the bottom line is if we can take care of our immune system and really build a way in which that immune system is helped and fortified as opposed to closing it down not breathing fully breath is so important it's 
this process links us to our inner worlds. A healthy mind is a healthy body. When I smell that cleanse, that hand uh, cleanser that I sprayed on my hand, it, it actually lifts my spirit and it makes me feel good. When I feel good, guess what happens? My immune system gets stronger. And then what happens? Anything that's coming into my area is satisfied. It's taken care of. So a diseased organism often has lost its connection, giving rise to a dissonance between spirit, mind, and body, and its environment. So this is the beautiful thing that I love to really speak about when it comes to essential oils and aromatherapy is that they connect us to nature. You're going to hear me talk about this throughout all my teachings and all these chats here. How can you connect yourself to nature in a way that's resonating with your body in a natural way? And when that happens, the mind, body, emotions, and spirit come together. You know, that was my experience. Um, I went through eight, was it eight or six weeks of um, radiation. And I wasn't going to do any of that. This is the second time I had breast cancer. And I did it because um, I was, I actually got a um, word, an inner word from my own high spirit saying, this is the way to go. I didn't quite understand it um, because I knew that radiation was detrimental to um, the cells of the body. In fact, it, they told me I didn't need my thymus because I'm old enough and what do I need that for? So I knew that it was killing good things in my body. But I also got responsible, and this is, was interesting because I had been trained in Reiki, which is an energy medicine, and I worked with a Reiki practitioner when I realized that I had a fear, and that fear was that that invasion of the radiation was going to harm me. And so I took that on to actually begin to heal myself so that in that healing, I was a participant doing Reiki on myself, doing Reiki on the technician and also on the technology. And I did that for six solid weeks every day. But I also took an aromatic bath twice a day. And in that practice, I got connected to the plants in a way that I was blown away with. They began to speak to me. Yes, they do have a voice. And they began to work with my energetic body such that that's been 25, 28 years now. And I have been cleared of um, this, this whole thing. My body is healthy. It's a combination of what foods I'm eating, again, what environment I'm creating, what supplements I'm taking. And when I meditate, I use the essential oils. All of these help to be our protection because our protection is what we do with our environment, with, which is our mind, which is our emotions, which is our spirit. So in this way, as we end this year of 2020, may we have that 2020 vision of that inner being that we are as we open up to 2021 to that number is a five, two plus two plus one is a five, which means freedom. So it's how we express that freedom from within that we can actually see outside. So feel free to become a part of my classes that I'll be doing in January. I'll put a link to this after this um, live video. And I look forward to answering any questions that you might have, uh, any comments, and uh, love to work with you. So all the best. Happy, happy new year. Love, love, love to you. And we'll talk soon. Thank you so much. Thank you.